Now this is absolutely beautiful. 120,000 pounds this car would have cost brand new. It's got all the spec you'll ever need. 2018 68 registration BMW 740LE. That's a two litre hybrid BMW producing 326 brake horsepower and not a 60 in 3 point, sorry, 5.3 seconds. That is impressive. But for me, it isn't just the car and the technology of what this car's all about. How quiet is it? It's stunning. It goes very well because it's quick enough at 5.3 seconds. Being the 740LE means it's a long wheelbase. But then it's got 22,000 pounds worth of extras. I'm telling you, this is unbelievable. Now, if you follow our page and you see what we sell, it's very rare would I sell a, a 2018 model vehicle, but this one really does, it just outshines anything else on the road for value for money. 41,000 miles, a full BMW service history in black sapphire, which is metallic black, but then it's got a nice, unique interior. It's got the mocha brown, full leather, exclusive interior, but then it's got the extra styling, the upgraded wheels, the black kidney grills, LED BMW headlights with a fusion blue daytime running lights. It's got literally every single extra you can think of. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's very, very rare to do this. The only thing this car hasn't got is heads up display. Don't ask me why, but it hasn't got heads up display. But it's got everything else. It's got a comfort climate windscreen, which is this. It's got all the packs you can think of. Executive rear seats, which is 9,000 pounds. Like I said, 22,000 pounds worth of extras. You've then got over and above that, the upgraded alloy wheels. The suits, it suits this car very, very well. It is an M Sport, it's also an X Drive. So it's four wheel drive, it's a big car, but you've got X Drive capabilities. The M Sport means all the styling from the bumpers to the side skirts to the rear bumper and the inside. All the fancy LED bits. Then wheels are beautiful. If you like that sort of thing, this is not for everybody. I say this all the time when we get quite a special car in. So this one is special. Now someone will look at this car and go, oh yeah, them wheels are hideous or they're too big or too small. It'll drive like crap, whatever you think. This car with them wheels on looks good for what it is. And if you like it, you'll buy it. If you don't, you'll move on. But yes, the tires are very, very thin. I mean, look how small them tires are. But you know what, it looks good. If you like that vibe, you'll love it. If you understand it, you'll love it. If you don't, then stick to your all two in four by fours because that's what you'll get. This is a plug-in hybrid. You do get around 30 miles only electric driving, as in drive it in electric mode only. You can drive it in hybrid mode, drive it in petrol mode, you pick and choose, but it is a plug-in hybrid, which is brilliant. The black window surrounds, the double panoramic glass roof with the top section is tilt and sliding, the sun protection glass, and remember it's long wheelbase, so you can see the back door is huge, which means you've got lots of leg space in the rear. But then you have features like comfort access, soft closed doors, in the front, you have electric, memory, heated, ventilated, and massaging seats. But that mock of interior for me is just on point. It is stunning. You've then got this beautiful interior inlays with the ambient lighting, and this has the ambient air package as well. I'm gonna quickly climb in first. No, I won't, follow me. Look how comfortable and perfect this perforated seats with that lighter sort of beige brown beading going on. The headrest with the wing tops. Let me get in here. It really is a fascinating car. All the settings are down there for their seats. You've then got the Harman Kardon sound system. There is leather everywhere on the top dash, the bottom dash, but you can see the split in colour. Over here you've got the climate control area, ventilated seats, that's the air purifier mode. And then you've got the little bits down there with the USB, twin cup holders, the different driving options on the, on the right hand side. So you've got sport, comfort, eco, and the adaptive side of stuff. This is a touchscreen media system with Apple CarPlay, which is another extra full multifunctional steering wheel, electric adjusted steering wheel, and you have the heated steering wheel. You've then got the full digital sport dials there as well. So this area is brilliant. The extended lever around the knee area, condition is perfect. And you've got, for me, it just does everything it should do. But for, for me, it is this bit that really does shine. It's, look at that. Sometimes I think you don't have to say too much. The car will do its, the selling on its own. And you can see that, that where the 120,000 pounds is, it's such a difficult car to replicate. I don't care who says what. If you're trying to get a car like this and you've been wanting one, it could be that you're a chauffeur company, it's for your private use, it's for your family, it's just for you because you're a business type fella and you want to be driving about in a nice luxurious limousine. This ticks every single box. So in the back, on the door card, you have reclining option. You've got the massaging seats, the memory seats. 
the electric blind buttons are here, but the blinds aren't just for the windows, it's also for the quarter windows. But then you have this limousine vibe with a lighting system. See this light, it comes on. That's nice. I mean, can't you see with that on? But again, when you're in there and you're reading or you're doing something on your laptop, or it, it can be useful. The ambient lighting continues. Obviously, in here, you've got the different options. So first of all, that little button, you can see, adjusts your footrest. Oh, I'm going to call it what you want. Your touchscreen media system, but then you've got this little pad here. When you press it, it comes out into your hand, and you can really make use of that as well, because it depends what you're doing. But I'll just get this out. I haven't got nails at the end. And that controls most of the car with regards to the blind and other functions of the vehicle, seats and everything else. But then you also have the seat adjustments just at your fingertips here. Press that button and then you have more cubby hole space down there. Now this is nearly a £9,000 optional extra. These seats are so comfortable, you get extra cushions. Obviously the seat belts, the wireless headsets, BMW ones, both sides, or every passenger get one. This is good, this is more than good. You've then got mirrors in here with lighting. Obviously this is the, the blind that goes all the way back as well. I don't know what more you could physically want in a car. This is fabulous. I, I mean it, and I've driven this car, very short period, but I did drive it and it's quiet, it's smooth, it's, it's quick. But then you get all this as well. It's like, where do you stop? The levers everywhere, the M entry kick plates. Now as you get to the back of the car, you'll notice the built lid spoiler, the twin exhaust fascias, the LED rear lighting system. There's a camera system there. Automatic tailgate, and you still get a boot space as well. So although it has a battery underneath, you can still put suitcases in there, no problem whatsoever. Press that button again and it closes up. As you get to that side, one more time. It's just such a stunning looking car with a massive specification. Everything that you'd physically need in the car for not a lot of money money so in here you've got like i said a digital dashboard there there's a functional adaptive sort of um full steering wheel on my headlights on my window wipers push button start and then your camera system kicks in when you put it into reverse and then you've got air suspension on this car as well so you can lower the vehicle or lift it to get more ground clearance that's not a problem i love it absolutely perfect if you're looking for a car like this and you want it one just to turn up with the right spec on, with full BMW service history, one that's had a few extra bits put on it, then this is it. My name's Joe, thanks for watching, bye bye now.